Hi, this tutorial is designed to help you brainstorm topics for your senior project paper. Before we begin, I want to just talk a little bit about your brain and how it works. Um, you have two sides of your brain. Uh, the right brain functions, controls thought, intuition, creativity, art, and music, keeps you from turning into Spock. And the left brain functions uh, concern analytical thought, logic, language, science, and math, keeps you from turning into space hippie. Um, for the purpose of brainstorming, what you want to do is silence your inner critic. So, turn off those left brain functions that tell you that the idea is dumb or it'll never work. And have fun. Try to let your creativity, intuition play, and don't criticize the ideas that, that come out of your head at this point. Uh, the more ideas you can come up with, the better, and so we're going to focus on trying to figure out how to come up with as many ideas as we can. So here are some tips for how to do that. First off, uh, it's very helpful to limit your time. Don't give yourself too much time to brainstorm. Uh, I suggest give yourself 20 minutes and try to come up with 50 ideas. That time crunch will really help you generate ideas uh, and help the brainstorming process. Uh, record those ideas in some fashion. I like to use sticky notes and just paste them all over the wall and then organize them later. Uh, you can also use mind maps, which are very helpful too. Um, if you do do mind maps, stay away from the computer because it'll slow you down. Just get a big sheet of paper and just try, start to fill it up with ideas and draw arrows connecting those ideas. Uh, as much as possible, try to collaborate with others. The more people thinking and brainstorming, the better. And make lists of interests and hobbies, goals, concerns. These are things that you feel very strongly connected to, and it's a way of connecting sort of a personal interest with a school topic. So take a look at some of these questions and see if you can answer some of them and how that may help you lead you towards a project. If you're all tapped out of coming up with ideas on your own, you can look for inspiration elsewhere. And the best place to look for inspiration is a library. So, you can visit us in person or online. Um, I want to talk about two library resources that will be helpful with your brainstorming, magazines and our databases. Uh, with magazines, you can come into the library and browse all our magazines. This is our magazine section. And you can look at a variety of topics in a variety of disciplines. If you can't come into the library, you can visit the magazine selection online. Just go to our website click on Library Magazines, and you'll see a list of most of our magazines online. And you just click on any one of these, and it'll take you to that magazine's website. So if you're looking at sort of issues and ideas that concern you, for example, if you have an environmental interest, you can look at this magazine. And most magazines, when you get to their website, will have a search bar or a topic section. Here's the one for the environmental magazine. And you can, that's another way you can look for possible topics for your senior project paper. You can also use our databases for topic lists. Go to our databases. And we have two databases that will be helpful for this, Gales and eLibrary. Opposing Viewpoints and Context is a great resource to look for uh, current sort of controversial issues. So if you look at the issue tab right here, you'll get a whole host of issues that you can look at and see which ones might interest you for a paper. And when you do, click on the link and it'll take you to that page and you can read more content and material um, on that issue. eLibrary has the same feature. If you go to their topic link here, they organize their topics sort of by subject areas in school. And so based on what you're interested in, you can look at these and find maybe an area of interest that um, could serve as a topic for your paper. If you have a Mountain View or Los Altos library card, you can use their sites. Go to online resources at Mountain View. And they have a great um, website, Points of View Reference Center, which also lists sort of controversial issues and topics that you can look at. This is the Los Altos uh, 
public library site. It's connected to Santa Clara County Library. They have an e-library, and they too organize their resources by subject. So if you have a favorite subject, begin there. And you can look at all the reference material and other um, ideas listed under that particular subject. So that's it. If you need any help with any of this brainstorming, please come in the library and see me, or you can always email me at gordon.jack at nvla.net. Thank you.